Hello folks, Tim here with uh, our update for day four. Um, we'll go over what I've got accomplished and uh, we'll get some gameplay in because it's, uh, it's about noon and it's about time for the game to reset for me. So, I got my coffee. Let's get into it. Alright, let's start with level. I hit level 31 which unlocked the arena, and I've already done three of my arena fights. That's my current arena team, because those are the best characters I have at this moment. We'll get to that in a minute. Let's look at our roster now. So, for the hero campaign, these are the characters I have available. Punisher, Spider-Man, Deadpool, Luke Cage, Shield Medic, America Chavez, and Miss Marvel. Now, I'm mainly using these guys first, right? So, Punisher, Spider-Man, Deadpool, Luke Cage, Shield Medic. I progressed the Punisher up to level 30 with um, Gear Tier 4. 3, 3, 3, and 1, right? So, I'm, by the time I hit 45, I'll have the stuff to Gear Tier 7, 5, 4, 4, 2. I'm... I'm putting, I'm investing in the Punisher because I'm going to use him for stuff later in the game. Spider-Man, after his rework, is a better character, but I don't think you see that until after 70, so we're a ways off. But he's also part of the Web Warriors. He's Spider-Verse, so he can be used to unlock Shuri. He's Hero City, which we're going to need characters for that, right? So I've invested in Spider-Man. Deadpool we're going to use for X-Force, plus he's global, hero, mercenary. He's going to have his uses too. Um, he's not farmable. I mean, I guess he is. You can buy him in the Blitz store, but I have other focuses. But I feel like opening orbs, we're going to get a good bit of Deadpool. So I am investing in him. Luke Cage is... I mean, he's used for the defenders, he's used for the heroes for hire, but I stopped at 26 with him. I might take him up to 30, but I don't see right now me taking him past 45. So, yes, I am making some investment in him. Shield Medic is my fifth one. Um, I'm going to stop at 25, uh, Tier 4. You know, I might pump a little bit into these, but we're not going to use Shield Minions right now. And... There's no point in investing since my resources are limited. I did bring America Chavez up to 25 because she's a young Avenger. And if I open an orb and, and get um, one of the other ones, I'll have three parts toward it, right? So it's also the reason that I brought Miss Marvel up to 25, uh, Tier 4. But I've been using... Uh, my training mats on other characters. So, again, investing a little bit in her. She's an inhuman, and she's a young Avenger. So, potentially going to use them. And then for my villains... Where are we? Right there. Okay. Um, I unlocked Cree Noble. And I brought her up to 30. Now, I'm, I am going to use the Kree to unlock Fury, which is one of my, um, one of the goals that I set out to accomplish as early as possible. So I invested in her. I, I'm not going to invest anything more in Crossbones right now. I invested in Shocker, Sinister Six. I mean, he's definitely going to be used. Electra, Shadowlands, I'm definitely going to use her, so I made the investment. Another thing I accomplished today was... Let's find it. Challenges. Alright, so originally, original alchemy I can't, I can't do yet. It, that's quite a ways off. Player level 65, uh, you know... Level 3 ISO 8. It's going to be a while before I get there to unlock that. So, uh, my Orb Fragments. I got that. Um, 3 star Tier 3. So, you know, Tier 1 you get 345 Basic Orb Fragments and 115 Premium Orb Fragments. 
that goes up to 420 and 120 at tier 2 and then 470 and 130 at tier tier, tier 3 I, I did try to get tier 4 but failed miserably so I mean that was obviously before I brought everybody up to 30 so I'll try to tier 4 that the next time that pops up Catalyst of Change, if you remember, I could not unlock until level 16. So when that popped up, I three-starred Tier 1. Um, two characters. Tier 2, I'm not even going to try because it requires... I'm not going to be able to beat that. Like, squad level 26, blasters only. I'm going need to need to unlock some more characters for that. So I got that accomplished today. I already mentioned that we unlocked the arena. You know what, let's do an arena fight. So what I need to do is I'm going to find the easiest match that I can get. So my power level with the characters I'm using is 11,519. Probably not going to win that one. Probably not going to win that one. This one has its possibilities, and it'll change my rank from 2732 to 2406. So let's give this let's give this battle a try. So we're using Electra, Deadpool, Punisher, um, Spider-Man, and Shocker. If you if you go through and look, those are going to be the best characters I have right now. So that puts me team powered 11,519. Against a team that's 10k plus. So let's see how this goes. And again, you know, I'm doing it on 3x speed. So combat's going to go a little quicker. Um, all right, so I want to take out uh, the medic first so she can't heal. Deadpool kicking butt and taking names. I love the Deadpool character. My favorite Punisher AoE. Alright, so now we'll take out Deadpool. So after I take out the initial target that I pick, which is usually the healer, I'll go on to, like, who has the next, you know, who's the closest to dying next? Take out the Punisher. Yeah, I'm not going to win this one. All right. Well, I'm sure somebody might have a suggestion of how I, what I could have done different in that battle. P please feel free to share that in the comment section. Um, also, if you would, please like and subscribe to the channel. Keep you up to date with uh, everything I do. So my refresh, I can do a, my last uh, arena combat in about 15 minutes. All right, so what else have I accomplished today? All right, I got three star heroes, uh, four eight done, up up to four eight. I three starred up to villains two five, so good progress there. I am halfway. I don't know why I did it that way, guys. I really could have just done this. I'm about halfway to unlocking the Hulk. I completed uh, Blitz Milestone 9. So with one day and five hours left, I, I, I can at least get to 10. You know, my my Blitz numbers, well, here's a free one. They're going to be hard because I don't have any, you know, I don't have any way to increase my um, modifier faster because of my limited characters, which, again, okay. You know, uh, what, on day one, I think I said this is going to require a lot of patience. Um, sometimes I'm not real good with the patience. Like, I've seen a couple offers and been like, man, you know, I, I should really get that. And then I'm like, no, bro, you're, you're, you're going free to play. You're not, you're not spending even 99 cents. It's important to me to complete this as free to play. All right, so I'm almost to milestone 10, which will give me two anti-venom shards. 7k gold. Well, 85 blitz credits. And um, 
170. Wow, Blitz Orb Fragments. That's I got got lost there for a minute. I've also I've been taking parts. I've been taking part in um, alliance raids, joining what I can. So you know, Ultimus Two. It's not really anything I can beat at this point. Um, you know, that's the only note available to me. I really joined it to try to mooch resources, which is a thing. Um, and then I have Ultimus 1, which I took part in. Alright, so I have 35. Let's launch that. I am going to use cores to heal these guys up just because we're doing a video. So that's, um, that's my raid team for now until we unlock some more people. And I, I'm just going to auto this. Because I should be able to beat it. But yeah, jo joining a guild, or I'm sorry, alliance, that does the raid content that you can actually make a difference in, that's a huge thing. Um, yes, you can mooch gear and whatnot off of stuff that you can't even participate in. But I don't like being a mooch. I mean, I'll do it because, I mean, it's a game. <laughs> it's, not, it's not real life or anything. But, um, yeah, I'll join and, and mooch a little bit. But I want to I wanna contribute to any content that I do. All right, so we're going to auto this one. My phone's over here blowing up. My cats are running all over the place. So if I seem distracted, that's why. All right. Beat up these wonderful uh, minions here. Now, obviously, I'm not. I'm going to stop using Luke Cage once I unlock Rhino. Which hopefully I'll be able to do today. All right. So there's that. Now we're uh, let's go on and open some orbs. See what we can get out of the orbs here. Oh, five Scarlet Spidey. He's a 45 uh, shard unlock. It's part of the Web Warriors team. So that was a that was a good pull off of an orb that usually you know your free orb. They pop up. I think it's every four hours. All right. So let's see what we got here. We have one premium orb. Let's open that bad boy up and see what we get. All right. 15 shards of yellow jacket. Ravager minion. Well, Cree Reaper, we're okay with that. The Ravager minions, I really don't know that they have any use. I Man, I guess, you know, you can use them if you're unlocking Star, if you're going after the Star Lord legendary. All right. What do we got up next? Four basic orbs. We'll open all those at once. See what we can get. All right. Shield operative. Another Scarlet Witch. Another Hydra guy who we have no use for. And a Hand Sentry who, again, we don't really have much of a use for. But I did get 4,000 gold and some um, gear mats. So that's good. One gold orb. Let's see what we can get out of this guy. All right, not too bad. Took us up to 1.65 million. What do we got next? Legacy orb one. There we go. Oh, there's five Hawkeye shards. So I've almost got him unlocked. Speaking of which, I'm leveling a lot faster than I thought I would, so I might have to seriously sit down and rethink 
some of my goals. All right, three milestone, two orbs. Earn up to 10 shards of select characters. All right, orb one, we got Emma Frost, five out of 100. Good character. Number two gives us Beast, five out of 45. We definitely want Beast. And last but not least out of these, ah, Symbiote Spider-Man, five out of 100. Then we got some training orb fragments and some gear pieces. All right, let's go on to our blitz here. All right, so we have a blitz orb waiting for us. We'll open that guy up. File Spider-Man, 11 out of 45. All right, that's going to be a good unlock too. He's got a really good kit. And, you know, if we get Gamora and we get Philavel, and we get Nebula. Those three and the two Spider-Mans, uh, Miles Spider-Man and regular Spider-Man, will actually get me a long way, I think. So, um, All right, so Nebula is going to cost us 500, and we only have 450. So we're not going to be able to target her today. And we're not going to be able to target Rhino today, so we'll just use 350 of that and open another shard and get another Miles Spider-Man. There you go, 16 out of 45. Um, I don't want Catalyst today, so let's just go straight and get Biogear. Next, we have our raid. So we have 1,525 uh, raid credits. So let us see if I'm not going to target by Kitty Pride. I'm not going to target by Cl Cloak at, at this point. So let's just open an orb. See what we can get out of it. Oh, Sabertooth Rocket and... That annoying Hydra guy that just keeps popping up. That's all right. So your most efficient way to get characters is to buy the raid orb. Um, I really want... The earlier that I can get Baron Zemo, the better, as far as I'm concerned. So that's why I was checking the store to see if, uh, if he was available. Now, these are gear orbs. I mean, I have no use for orange right now. So we're just going to leave these be. Then we go to the arena. Now, arena orbs, not really, you know, you don't really want to focus on them. So we so we have 1455, which means that we have enough to target Philavel, which we're definitely going to do. And then we have 475 left. Let us see. If I really want to go after Shadowlands then I should grab the Daredevil ones. But I think what we'll do is we'll save that 475, see what I get out of the rest of today and tomorrow, and maybe be able to buy another Philavel. So we got two achievements, spend 500 arena credits. That'll give us two more Hulk. And that'll give us some orbs. So we can open another premium orb. Storm, heck yeah. She's sort of a glass cannon though, but she does a crazy amount of damage. She just dies quick. And then we should have, oh, here we go, a training orb. So we're, we're getting a good amount of training mats, which is good. All right, so we didn't really get any new unlocks today. We got a little closer on some. And, you know, um, so I, I laid out that I wanted my first teams to be uh, the Wave 1 Avengers and the Sinister Six. 
and then Shadowlands and Wakandans. Basically, the reason I want the Wakandans is for the Chaos Theory, um, because that's how you get... Let me see if I can pull it up. It's not in here, but... Uh, Chaos Theory gets you um, Red Stars. It helps you get the Red Stars. It's probably not showing up for me because I don't believe I unlock Red Stars till 45. 42. So. Alright. I, uh, I think that's just, just about covers everything for today. You know, day four is uh, is in the books. So I've already target farmed Punisher. Already did um, Hawkeye. I did Mysterio as well, basically because I wanna I need another villain and I wanna start getting going on the Sinister Six. Yandu, I'm not gonna bother with. I already did my auto on um, the Cree Noble. Spider-Man Miles we want. I believe I already did my auto on him. We're not farming the ham because, uh, well, farming the hand makes your soul die. So, <laughs> and I did uh, an auto on Shocker already. We're not going to bother with uh, the operative. And I already did the uh, Kree Reaper. So, 6 out of 45. I could probably clear this today, but I'm not really going to um, be farming Bullseye. All right, heroes, let's see what we can do. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry about that. Uh, let's see if we can beat it. We're probably not going to be able to because I think this combination is going to be too much. I mean, it's Guardians of the Galaxy and their synergy is is really good. Yeah, I mean, it almost just killed the Punisher. There goes my healer. I don't really think that we can win this. I mean... Even if we win it, we're not going to be able to three-star it, which is, you know, our goal so that we can move on. All right, we're just going to auto this and watch. You know, Gamora is a little tough to, to have to fight right now at where I'm at in the game. And I honestly think we're going to be stuck here until we hit 45. So for the next few days, I'm just going to be um, auto-winning on some nodes. Yeah, we're not uh, we're not going anywhere for a little while <laughs> on that one. Probably want to hit 45. You know, we we got. Uh... Oh, I already autoed uh, Green Goblin. And here we are with this. So at the end of this is we're going to be on Jessica Jones, who we're not really worried about getting. All right, folks, I think that's going to be it for today. I know I said that once already. Um, check back in tomorrow for, for day five, and we'll see what we can do there. And um, as always, if you get any value out of, out of this video, please hit the like button and the subscribe button. And I will catch you folks tomorrow. Have a good one.